Hello. <laughs> welcome back or welcome here. My name is Stephanie. My goal is to help you heal and prosper. Because you are worthy and deserving inherently of both things. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about today is something a little heavy, but I'm going to make light of it. I'm going to make some lightness out of it, right? So let's uh, start with a few phrases that are the heaviness and then let's dive into the lightness of it all. You are not set up to play big. You are set up to play small. You don't live in a world that encourages you going after your dreams. You live in a world that encourages you to fit in a box. You don't live in a world that is abundantly mindsetted. <laughs> you live in a scarcity mindsetted <laughs> world. Right? And I'm just talking predominantly, not exclusively, right? Because we all know people who are not uh, scarcity mindset it, or maybe you don't, or whatever. You know, there are people out there who do not live via scarcity mindset, but I'm talking majority here, right? Society at large <laughs> does not set you up to be the conscious chooser of your life. It doesn't set you up to go after your dreams with full confidence and faith and belief in yourself. It does not set you up to do your own thing and find your own version of happiness. Society at large, the majority, right? Are fear-based, scarcity mindset-based, and they set you up to play it safe. To rationalize why you should not go after those big dreams of yours. Does this sound familiar? Have you experienced this at all? I mean, I have. Oh, many, many people I know do. <laughs> many clients I talk to, many people I coach into their biggest, best, highest goal-getting selves. They are, uh, many of them come from this idea that they are to play small. And they have guilt around the idea of playing big. They have guilt around the idea of asking for too much. What? <laughs> so, if you're on board, if you're still here with me, let's make some light of this situation. Let me tell you how it really is. Who am I to tell you how it really is, right? But let me tell you how it is for me. Let's talk about the fact that you are not set up to play big, you are set up to be small. From the earliest of ages, we are taught to seek exteriorly, that all of the answers are exterior to us, right? We are taught how to be, who to be, what to think, how to dress, what to say, etc. Yeah? And at school, you are taught that every, like the teachers, the adults, know more and know better than you. Your parents have instilled within you this idea of asking permission. And a lot of that is acceptable and appropriate when you are a child because, you know, like if you decide, I want to run in the middle of the street, your parent is probably right to tell you that's not right, right? Or... Uh, just to tell you that you have to ask before you leave the house, right? When you're like seven years old. I mean, those things are appropriate to an extent at that age. But they do not instill within you the ideas or the fact that it will not always be that way. That you do not always have to ask permission. That you do not always have to seek exteriorly. That there isn't always going to be someone that knows better than you what is right for you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what you need to step into more of now. No one knows better for you than you. No one knows what is more right for you than you do. No one can tell you. You do not have to ask for per permission to go after what you want for your dreams and your goals and your desires. That is yours and it is for you. Those specific dreams, goals, and desires are within you for a reason. Not everybody has the same goals, dreams, and desires for a reason. You have your specific set of goals, dreams, and desires because they are yours. They were meant to be played out by you, but you weren't set up to believe that you can go after those things. 
But then let's also talk about the schooling system. They did not set you up to think about what will make your soul feel purposeful and satisfied and fulfilled. They are setting you up to choose rationally which is the best college for you, which is the best career choice. You're, you're, you're asked to choose at the age of like high school what to do for the rest of your life. Come on now. Come on now, right? And a lot of these things are so outdated. They aren't suiting who we are now, right? More and more people are seeking purpose, fulfillment, satisfaction, rather than safety, security. And what I mean is like people aren't necessarily valuing a job with a 401k as like the goal anymore. Now people are valuing experiences and feelings as goals, satisfaction, fulfillment, purpose. That's going to come by doing what is best for you, not by rationally and logically choosing what will give you the highest like um, <laughs> 401k percentage, right? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there's another way in which you are not taught or set up to play a big and play small. And here's another thing. After your childhood years, after the parenting and the schooling system is out of the picture, right? You are 18 plus, right? You may have moved out right away when you're 18. Anyways, you're 18 plus now and you are here realizing more and more what you want, excuse me, uh, your goals, your dreams and desires, right? Here you are realizing those things. The thing is, all of those other people who you grew up with that are still still subscribed to their own limiting beliefs, still subscribed to the scarcity mindset, still subscribed to the fear-based uh, decision-making, they are not going to understand you when you decide to take leaps of faith, when you decide to go after satisfaction rather than guaranteed uh, retirement funds. You know what I mean? They're not valuing the same things you are. They're not going to see things the same way you do. And so when you present your goals, dreams, and desires to them, they aren't going to be there with open arms to support you. That is not going to feel good. That's where this whole aspect of you cannot seek validation exteriorly comes from. You cannot seek the approval of other people period, <laughs> right? I have nothing to say after that. You cannot seek the approval of the external because the majority of the external are limit, limited, scarcity mindseted, <laughs> fear-based in their decision-making, right? People that were too scared or taught not to go after their dreams or their goals are not going to have very good advice for somebody who is going after their dreams and goals, right? And when you become more conscious and you become more seeking of satisfaction and fulfillment and purpose, it is going to feel a little lonely at first until you then find more people that are like that, right? Someone that had gone after their goals, that knows what it is like to figure it all out on their own because they were not surrounded by uh, limitless thinkers. They were surrounded by limited thinkers. Those people will never judge you. Those people will never talk down to you. Those people will never tell you to rationalize. Those people will never tell you that you can't do it because they know what it's like, right? You need to find those people. And if you don't have them yet, that is okay. Once you continue down your journey of satisfaction, purpose, and desire, and dreams, and limitlessness, you will eventually find those people, I promise you. It may not seem like it, but you will, right? So that path may seem a little hard at first because it's going to seem a little lonely at first because you are realizing you do not want to be a part of the limited minded anymore. You don't want to be a part of the scarcity based mindset people anymore. And so you're transitioning away, but you don't necessarily have the support that you're used to because when you're over here with the majority, you have plenty of support. I mean, the majority is over there. When you're over here with the lesser, not lesser, 
in any negative sense, but like lesser amount of people that go that route in life. When you go over here, there's not as many people supporting you. There's not as many people uh, validating your dreams, encouraging you until you find them, of course, but like at first. And so it's going to feel a little lonely at first and there's going to be temptation to go back to your fear-based thinking and there's going to be like this like battle within your head sometimes of rationality and limitedness and your limitlessness potential and your um, expansive ways of thinking and feeling and being right and so just because it may feel a little uncomfortable at first, a little lonely at first, a little confusing at first because you're just like stepping into your potential, right? Stepping into your satisfaction, your journey to satisfaction. First getting there, right? That's going to feel a little uh, at first and not many people are going to understand it. It's going to trigger a lot of people because those people pushed aside their dreams and desires, buried them within because they felt they were going after the, their shoulds. They felt that they should do this instead of what they wanted. They felt they should look like this instead of how they wanted to. They should. They felt that they should think this way instead of how they wanted to, right? They were very shoulded upon and therefore you may trigger them by going after your dreams, goals, and desires because you may spark a little regret or resentment or um, what if I had in them, yeah? And so they are going to project that onto you, most likely, but you cannot seek the validation from those people. You can't seek validation from the people who get it either. You have to seek validation from within yourself. You have to seek approval and acceptance within first, because if you have it for yourself, nothing else matters. Stop playing small. You are designed for your desires. Your desires are designed for you. They are only within you because they are meant to be. You are supported, divinely guided. You are loved. I encourage you. I support you. I know it really doesn't mean anything or maybe even shouldn't mean anything because all that desire and support and validation needs to come from within, but I am in your corner rooting you on. And so are so many other people. Just because they're not the majority doesn't mean anything. Do not take advice from people who don't have the lives that you want. Do not let the negative opinion of someone who has been triggered by your bravery to impact you. The very common saying, it goes something along the lines of like, a lion is not concerned with the opinion of sheep, <laughs> right? You are worth it. You are deserving of it. Just because the majority say something does not mean it's true. Play big, win big. I love you. I encourage you. I wish you all of your dreams and desires, but more importantly, I wish you confidence, bravery, courage, and a feeling of capability. Mwah. Until next time.